project. They started this project in January. That was when we started this project. And you can see where the contractor is located now. He has nine months to complete this phase. So we are giving each contractor a phase to complete. So the next phase is from uh, yeah to go around the whole town. By tomorrow we are going to uh, yes, yeah, double yes, all dual carriageway, all our roads in Yenegua. No road is a single carriage. For the roads we are constructing in Yenegua, none. All the roads we are going to show you are all dual carriageways, and that is because we mean that there is a need for us to open the state the way it should, so that tomorrow, even when our children come, they will not meet a state that is uh, jam packed and you start having a uh, hold up and traffic on, all, all, all over the state. So we are taking the Abuja model. Uh, and we're trying to build on improving on what we have there as a, the Abuja, Abuja model. Yes. Are you having uh, this uh, landscaping and traffic coming? You know, as time goes on, there will be a lot of uh, vehicles, a lot of uh, vehicles to be bought and a lot of... Uh, so there will be landscaping. So please, uh, then, what... Uh, and then the, the other aspect that is very very important, you know, recently in uh, this southeast we have geological failures on the road, which actually between uh, Asaba and Port Harcourt. You will see geological failure along the line. Have you taken that into the into consideration during your design stage? And particularly when you say a ring road is going to be established, there should be what we call where. Uh, site, site uh, reserves in case there is problem. Thank you very much. Uh, quickly, like I, I mentioned, we this green road, if we were to, when we take the other road, when we are going out through the Azikoro road, I will show you the rigs, the, the roads that are, 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 yes, yes, service out. Because what we want to do is that from the Azikoro road, we are going to hit this road. But there's again another road that is cutting across from Opolo down to Sania Basha. That road is steering between this road and Azikoro road. So we have that. Uh, 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 at the back of our mind. And that's how we are dualizing all of them. All the roads we are taking, I will show you Road 30, Road 27C, Road 24, Road 28, and Road uh, uh, 38 and Road 13. They are all dualized to empty into this one so that as you move on, you go, and then in terms of the flower, uh, the flowering, you see that by the side, you see the sands are left behind. Ordinarily, the same will have been taken away. It's purposes of uh, backfilling and planting the trees along the, this, and also creates the, the sidewalk. If you look at what we had at the beggar, where we showed you what, what beggar was handling uh, on the Osbo Lake as the border road, you can see the width of the road. Uh, about uh, uh, two meters of it will be provided for sidewalk. And then along this road, by the time we finish, we'll put uh, foot, uh, uh, foot bridges for those who are going to pedestrian bridges for people to cross along the road. And then the center, the maiden, is two meters. That will provide for lighting and also flowering along the, uh, the maiden of the road. That is also taken into consideration because we did EIA and also did all those things before the road, the project started. So for all our projects, there's always an environmental impact assessment which must be submitted before we go into the project. Let me commend uh, Bayesa State for this ring road. Because a ring road around the city makes access easier. People can exit from multiple points rather than coming to town from one spot, leaving town on one spot. And it's also going to open the city center where people now can start settling all around the city because there is uh, a pathway, there, there are, there's an infrastructure. Ring Road is something that must be done also very beautifully because it's going to define the character of your city. And like I keep, in, uh, keep insisting, you must plant trees, you know, and light the roads, plant trees all over so that the city will be very human and friendly you know to, to 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 visitors and residents alike so this is a good and strategic project and uh, we commend you for for this effort well uh, this is uh, what we call your pull level dualization this one is about eight kilometers and another reason why we are realizing this road is to meet the outer ring roads. You see that when with the point where we turned, the outer ring road is crossing straight away. Now immediately we go front a little behind these uh, buildings. You have the other road five that is traversing this uh, road again straight to Sania Basha. So the roads we are going to meet there will first of all hit this road five, and from road five they continue to road uh, uh, the outer ring road. And the, uh, uh, the, the 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 plan is to decongest the city centre as much as possible. And that reason is to open up this area because. The other right-hand side of Inigua has been built up. We are going to have a lot of costs in terms of urban renewal and uh, upgrading. So what we want to do is to leave that side as the old Inigua and then have the new Inigua between the old Inigua. So across the Ecole Bridge, uh, the governor is going to, by April, launch what we call the new Inigua 
and then this other part will have the new Unigua. So we're going to have new Unigua like what you have in the New Delhi and uh, the Old Delhi, where you see the old town kept there for those who want to see the town. Or uh, like what you have in uh, Garikitu in Abuja, leaving the old town the way it is. Our uh, Mabushi area in uh, Abuja, you leave the town, the old town where it is, and then do your development on the other side. So the purpose is to so this this road is also being handled by Julius Bega. It's 8.5 kilometers and it's costing us uh, 15 billion naira. Because it's a dualization project. In fact, if you look very far away, you will see the governor's uh, private residence. When we drive through, you will see it. It has been earmarked for demolition. Because any road that is on the right of way will not mind who owns it. We're going to demolish it as far as that right road is on the right of way. So the deputy governor is going to lead that delegation to do the demolition. And he's getting himself very well prepared to do that. And what we do is that if the road is on the, your, your party is on the right of way, if we are encroaching, we'll pay you compensation. But if you encroach on our right of way, the law says that you do not have any compensation. That is the law. You know? This one, who encroach? Is it the governor or you are the one? The deputy governor will answer. I want to know what is the governor that encroach or you are the one encroaching? I think uh, it, is a, it is a twin uh, issue here. The governor encroached partially and then we also encroached into part of his uh, fence. So we took the road beyond this fence. So this fence is actually on our road. But where the road is going to, because it's a dual carriageway, we have also entered part of his uh, property. So we're going to pay a little compensation for that. Questions? If there are none, then we'll move straight to it.